that's crazy. If I did something like that, they'd want to put me in jail. Yeah, absolutely. It's amazing what the federal government's getting away with. My God. Well, you've enlightened me to a lot of things that, you know, for the last week I've been inundated with the mass graves. And, uh, and so the, it, I, I kind of now got to get back to it and focus on everything else. But when, and it's going to get crazy before it gets better. It's going to get crazy. Yeah, I'm sure glad you landed here and, and let everybody know of what's going in Brooks County because, you know, uh, my heart goes out to, this, to McAllen and the county of Hidalgo because, you know, they, they've got a lot on their plate. Uh, we've had it, you know, like I said, for 65 months, and we wouldn't want to bestow on anybody else. So. And now from that amazing interview with Judge Ramirez here in Brooks County, Texas, we take you to the mass dumping ground here at the Sacred Heart Burial Park. Who's next? What town is next to take the brunt of the illegal activity being spread by the federal government into the United States? Is it your town? From Falfurious, Texas, I'm John Bound for InfoWars Nightly News. Man, when I get home from work, all Betty does is watch her reality TV and then she goes to sleep. I can take her on romantic dates, I get her flowers, you name it. She's just not the woman I married. Oh, Ralph, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? Are the honeymoon days of your relationship long gone? If so, consider this. The abundance of chemical additives, pesticides, BPA containers, contaminated tap water, and other toxic substances found in our environment. Experts know our bodies are suffering and being thrown off balance, especially when it comes to your natural systems. Forget synthetic chemicals. Super Female Vitality brings forward key herbs specifically chosen for women's biology without the use of phony additives. Get your bottle of Super Female Vitality today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or call 1-888-253-3139. InfoWarsLife.com. Live life healthy. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off Super Detox Special at InfoWarsLife.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Grew. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from seven to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with 
with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight on this Sunday, June 29th, 2014. Now, that's last segment. You heard that report from our reporters of the border, John Bound, reporting on what's happening to the small Texas border towns, how they're being bankrupted, how they're being endangered. And of course, do they get any assistance from the federal government that has basically stood down on the border, that has allowed the borders to collapse? No. At the same time, our federal government is sending a half a billion dollars to create war in Syria. They're not doing anything to alleviate the suffering of these small Texas towns, many of them largely Hispanic. This isn't about Hispanics versus Anglos or anything. This is about helping Americans who are here legally, who have paid taxes, who have a tradition, a political and legal tradition that they want to maintain. It's about taking that down. It's about collapsing that. Whenever they want to take our rights and our freedoms, they always use the children. They always say that it's for the children. And of course, they're holding the children up now as if that's what this were about. We know from the border agents that they said they're using the children as a front, as a decoy, so the drug cartels can do whatever they wish. And we should understand, even if we're not at the border to have that kind of insight that the border patrol agents do, we should be able to understand and look at this cognitive dissonance at the way they treat people in the airports and the way they're treating people at the borders. Look at the police state inside of America and look at the total stand down at the borders and ask yourself, why is that happening? Alex Jones has a special report on that, a new report on that coming up in the next segment. But we sent some other reporters down yesterday to see what Nancy Pelosi is doing. And of course, to put this in perspective, now, this is the National Review, and for the longest time, many who are conservatives have bought into the war on drugs as something that was necessary to do. But here's a quote from this National Review article. They said, historians looking back at this period in America's development will consider it to be profoundly odd that at the exact moment when violent crime hit a 50-year low, the nation's police departments began to gear up as if the country were expecting an invasion. Yeah, somebody's expecting an invasion. It's Homeland Security that's gearing everybody up. And it's Homeland Security that is standing down the borders. And as they've said back in Rex 84 and uh, Operation Garden Plot, when are we going to have uh, martial law? When, when is that going to be necessary? Oh, well, it might happen if the borders were to collapse. Why are the borders collapsing? Now, this is not a crisis. This is an implementation of NAFTA. And they say... Uh, we have to uh, wonder why this is happening in 124 homes every day or more, likely every night. And this is talking about SWAT teams and the raids that are going on as we see our country being totally militarized by the federal government. Now, to look at the hypocrisy, to look at what happens, you know, they might also ask, you know, why aren't the Border Patrol agents at the border? Why are they harassing people well inside of the border? Take a look at what happened to our reporters, Shakari Jackson and Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs, when they went down to report on Nancy Pelosi's photo op opportunity. Here they are, they're pulling over. This is a Border Patrol. Uh, they're stopping everybody. This is Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs driving. Oh, no, today. Can you tell me what your citizenship is, please? Sir? I work at InfoWars. I know Alex Jones show. Oh, okay. Okay. TV. Okay. Yes, I, I've heard of it. I haven't watched it, but... That's great. you got to check it out. 
Okay. You can use your, if you can sign up, you can use your password for a couple of 11 rooms. <laughs> right. Joe Biggs oh, is okay. giving him a commercial here. Can you tell me what your citizenship is, please, sir? Yeah, what? I live here. Okay, well. What's your citizenship? A lot of oh. people live here. A lot of people live here. That's a Border Patrol agent. Yeah, what, what, uh, what exactly are you trying to accomplish? I, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Can you... Can I oh, sure. Yeah, I I'll, I'll move over here. I'm sorry. Right. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm just wondering, what are you trying to accomplish? Yeah. Well, this is this is a checkpoint. It's a secondary uh, enforcement of, of the border security. Right. Uh, as we know, not, we can't catch everybody at the border, so this is a secondary to catch. Well, sir, I'll aliens, tell you, drugs. if you, you want to catch the people, I can tell you they're at Lackland Air Force Base. They're in McAllen, Texas. El Paso, yes. El Paso, El Paso as well. Un, un, unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, we don't control what happens after they've been caught. Uh, yeah, that's, I, I understand that's, that's that, sir. I'm just telling you, if, if, you, if you want to find something, we can tell you. Yeah. I mean, I can draw you a map. We know, you <laughs> we know exactly where those people yeah. are, too, but this is for those people that haven't yet. They know exactly where they are. They're not doing anything with them uh, citizenship is please sir uh well i i live in the state of texas okay so is that where you is that where you're born we're born here in the u.s sir i was not born in the state of texas if that's what you're asking uh no just sir i was just asking if you were born in the united states just so i can do to, to ensure your citizenship uh, i assure you sir i'm no criminal i'm not doing anything wrong and if you like I to know what the uh, if you'd like to know where the legal immigrants are, so I can I can show you videos and pictures and, I, and all that I, stuff. I, I, I know just where that is. All right, sir. Uh, and and you said that you were uh, from the U.S. as well. I live in Texas. Yes. I live in Texas. I'm a resident. Thank you. you have a good day, good officer. Day. Listen, that's very important because this is all about residents, right? New York City is going to spend five million dollars to defend quote unquote, undocumented immigrants, people that they say are residents of New York. See, they, they just move into New York and now they're residents under NAFTA, presumably, right? So why should Jakari and Joe Biggs give any more information than just to say, I'm a resident of Texas, but he kept pushing them. Where were you born? Where were you born? They don't care in New York, they don't care in California, they don't care at the border, but they're going to harass people who are inside the country. This is nothing but Pro forma harassment, taking away our freedom, our liberty in a B.F. Skinner approach, treating us like controlled animals, okay? That's what's happening at the airports. That's what's happening with the TSA. And that's what Alex Jones is going to be talking about in the next segment. This kind of hypocrisy that you can see, you don't know what it looked like at the border. You've always heard there's people coming across. You need to understand and listen to what the Border Patrol agents are telling you. They're quitting en masse because they said they're no longer doing law enforcement. They're just catering to the people who are coming across the border. They said that they're using children to get people uh, distracted so they can bring drugs, whatever, perhaps terrorist devices through. But we're being harassed at the airports. We're being harassed in the country. And the same agency, Homeland Security, that is driving the police into a militarized uh, approach to the way they deal with the public, the same agency that is controlling TSA at the airports is the same agency that is stepping everything down at the borders and opening them up completely open. Now, this is being done, as I pointed out, you're seeing them being shipped to New York. We had an article last week where uh, a lot of these uh, people are going to be shipped to New York into a Walmart, a dilapidated Walmart that's essentially falling down. Uh, a great picture for what's happening to our country. As even the Walmarts are collapsing in certain areas, we're going to bring more people in to accelerate the collapse because that's what this is about. For the longest time, it was back in the 1960s, two social scientists, Cloward and Piven, said we can accelerate the socialist welfare state if we bring enough people onto the welfare rolls to collapse the economy. And we need to do it through the Democrat Party. That's being rolled out. NAFTA is being rolled out. We're going to talk about the hypocrisy of what's going on at the airports right after the break. Alex Jones is going to break that down for you. Stay with us. General, what do you think about the FBI 
saying that there is a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation. The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security by sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed to do. If you watch, the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their memories.